starting the season, I really don't think that the team mindset was absolutely perfect. We didn't think that we would do as well as we did early on in the season. We lost some big guys like Matt Pryor and Jaden Yerberon who made up a good part of our lineup. We took it one meet at a time. When it came time for playoffs, we knew what we had to do and just win each meet as it was. And so I would say through mid-January, we knew we were good, but we didn't know how good because we never had, really had everybody together and healthy. All of us, we all knew we could do great things. Last year, the Bergen meet really showed us. People kept asking me throughout the season, like, can we actually make it pretty far in the playoffs? And I was like, it's definitely possible if we put our minds to it. Our first biggest meet was against Newark, I'd say. That was where we knew we could do a lot. You know, a lot of the coaches and uh, throughout the weeks of practice, it's just, we're not done yet. You know, we're, we're done, we're done, and that's when we're going to state championship. I didn't know how I would react. I didn't know if I would cry, pass out. I didn't know what I would do. The energy in that pool from all the parents, all the swimmers, just electrified. I was really proud that we made it that far. I had a good feeling we were going to win, and I was, I'm just really excited to be a part of the best team in school history. I remember hugging Dylan and be like, you lead this school as a champion. And I uh, was really happy to be a part of the first state championship team. And I'm proud to have been on a team with all these seniors, all these great guys. I just began to cry and Cormac came over to me and he said, yes, you're, you're a state champion. You lead this school as a champion. It was just great. I was so happy that my predecessor, Coach Randy Schweitzer, was in the stands. I've gotten so many congratulatory notes and emails from past parents and swimmers. I feel like, in a way, uh, this group came through for all of them. And um, though we lose some solid seniors, there's great hope for the future as well.